Hi Scorpio, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly love reading for the 19th through the 25th of March. This is for the sign of Scorpio. We're going to get one of these oracle cards and then we'll break right into that tarot deck. So yeah, generally these are love readings. So what do you have for Scorpio? We will go with this one. Scorpio. What do we have for Scorpio? What does Scorpio need to know? Page of Wands reverse. There could be a lack of excitement, <laughs> unfortunately. But then again, we have excitement. So somebody's not acting on their hunches. That's what's happening here. Somebody is not acting on their hunches when they should be in regards to some sort of new path or expanding their horizons or, you know, just it, somebody isn't following the path that they need to follow that they're that they're passionate about, okay? Somebody needs to follow their passions and they haven't been. And you know, I think that it's, it's communication is needed here. You may have to make some compromises, but I feel like you, if you're looking for togetherness, you need to take action, okay? Um, here we have somebody who does what they gotta do. So this is what you need to do. You need to take the lead. You need to follow. This is again, passionate. It's passion. This is the king of wands, full of passion, full of uh, vigor, okay? A lot of fire, a lot of energy, um, goes for it. He's a go-getter. So I'm thinking that you need, you have something that you want to do that you have been ignoring because you're unable to follow your truth, okay? You're unable to go down the path. I see that you need to do it. You need to do something. And I think it has to do with communication, okay? Something you're very passionate about. But you have these fears, okay? You have these fears of the unknown. What if what if I follow my passions and I get let down, you know? But I feel like you're looking for a relationship or you're looking for relationship growth or you're dreaming about something and you're unable to follow suit, okay? You're having these dreams that, you know, they're trying to tell you something. And I think that... You know, it, and these can even be daydreams, okay? Dreams tell you something. And I think that you're doing a lot of dreaming at this time, but you're you're not following suit. You're not taking action. It's like you lack the, the drive and the energy. And this is saying to find it. Find that courage and confidence to communicate or whatever it is that you need to do. But the thing is, is that's what's going on here. You are lacking it. It's like you're going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth here. One minute you have the confidence, the next minute you don't. And you could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. I think you are being called to take action, okay? And you may be... Oh, goodness. This person in reversed is very... They lack communication skills, they lack uh, passion, they lack energy, they may be very conceited and self-centered and lazy, okay, so this is in reverse. Upright, they have a lot of energy, it's the complete opposite, so, but it's, you know, it's male, male, female, so there is differences, but whatever. I feel like you, you are definitely going through some power struggles here. Okay, and you're really being called to communicate. You're looking for communication. And if you're looking from it from this person, you are in trouble. 
So if you're dealing with a fire sign and you're hoping for them to communicate with you, doesn't look good in reverse. This person does not have communication skills in reverse. You know, there's a lot of heartache here, right? What's this heartache about? So you're dealing with somebody who is very self-centered here. I mean, even in the upright, I mean, this fire sign can is self-centered energy. I mean, it is. So, um, and that's not trying to bash fire signs. All, every sign has negatives and positives. So, just trying to tell you that. Every single sign does. So, anyhow, um, there's a lack of love. Some and I think that you're you're a dreamer. You're offering love, but I think you you may be dealing with somebody where there's no more relationship growth. There's a very emotional, and they don't dream like you do. There's lack of of fulfilling dreams here. So I feel like you know, you've been on defensive. You've had to keep your guard up. You may have felt like you've been walking on eggshells, or you know there is def. There, it feels like there's some drama here. But there is some hidden forces as well, so you got to keep that in mind. Not everything is as it seems. So it feels like you are being called to follow your hunches because you don't know the whole story. There's something going on behind the scenes that you don't know about. You don't know the whole story. I do need to get this zoomed in. To somebody, there's choices here, and beware of false beginnings because be prepared to live. Be prepared to live with the consequences of your choice. If you don't make the choice, you're always going to wonder. If you don't make the move, you're never going to know. This is also this is about an illusion, and this is an illusion. So, like I said, there's a lot of dreams here. There's a lot of mind things going on. There's a lot of confusion. Okay, so I think that you are having a lot of confusion as to. Where, what to do next? What do I do? Where do I, what, you know, I think that on one hand you're feeling confident and you're feeling good. And on the other hand, you're feeling like down in the dumps, you know, and it's like that. I think there's, this is kind of like an emotional roller coaster to me, but I do, do want to get this zoomed in before we move further. I feel like you guys have to make a decision. Okay. You have to make a decision here. And I think that there's a lot of confusion surrounding this decision um yes yeah, there's a lot of emotions absolutely somebody is overly emotional here whether they are holding it on the inside or they're presenting it on the outside somebody that is watching this is feeling you know like i said they're on an emotional roller coaster what should i do here something is amiss and, you know, I think you are dreaming about somebody from your past. Like I said, this is a week of, it seems like dreaming. And I think you're dreaming of somebody from your past. Um, but there's no, somebody's not working on it. Somebody is definitely not putting in any effort whatsoever to this dream of yours. Whether it's yours or you or the other person, this dream is not being fulfilled because nobody's taking action, okay? Nobody's working on it. Nobody's putting in any effort to bring success, okay? To bring peace and harmony back to whatever this is. You, somebody is looking for peace and harmony. That's what sixes are. It's about getting your life back on track. You're dreaming about getting your life on back, back on track. You're dreaming about this happily ever after but nobody's taking any action okay nobody's putting any work into it um it's kind of like it's unrealistic as well um there's a lot of i mean this is unrealistic and unsatisfied so you may be feeling unsatisfied wherever you're at but you're unable to make a move because you're so confused okay i think that you know this is you're not working hard enough on fulfilling your dreams, okay? And if you don't work hard at, at going after your dreams, then, I mean, you can't just expect the universe to do all the work, okay? You have to put in the energy to make it happen. So I feel as though, look at that, the Hierophant with the High Priestess. The Hierophant's reversed and the High Priestess is upright. Somebody's being called to follow their, their intuition. Your intuition and your dreams have been talking to you. And you know, okay, you know what is being said to you, you're hearing it. Are you listening? Probably not.
I mean, that's what this says. <clears throat> you know, it feels as though you lack faith in the divine. The this 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 moon is down here. You lack faith in the unknown. You lack faith in the written script. You lack faith that whatever is meant to be will be. And you can't change that. So why not just act on your hunches? Why not do what you got to do? The outcome will be the right one. Even if you don't like it. But you're stalling. Unable to move forward. Look at the nines. On one hand, I want to close the door. On the other, I don't. I'd like to close this door. Or no, 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 no. I don't want to close the door. I don't want to close the door. I want the door to be open. Nope. I want to close the door. Nope. Nope. I don't want to close the door. I mean, that's what this is. Lines are about closure. Okay. You're so close to the end. You got one upright and one reversed. There's a lot of depression here, a lot of sleepless nights because of the confusion. Not not being able to follow your dreams, not being able to react, not taking action. And because you're you're letting this mental conflict take over, this roller coaster, you're not be feeling good. You're not there's no wish fulfillment here. Lack of happiness. It's time for you to free yourself from this situation. Okay? Look at this as a time of liberation. This is a period where you are free to do whatever you want. Why can't you follow your hunches? It's time for you to come out of the darkness. See the light. It's the end of difficulty with these two cards. It is. But you have to take action. You have to take action to end this difficult time. You have to take action to end this mental conflict. You do. You have to be practical. You have to be disciplined. This is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Make a decision. And I think that it's time to make the decision, don't you? Many of you are, or you know, that it's time to accept the truth. You may have a choice between two paths. I think you have to leave one of them behind and not look back because you have love. Okay? There's a there's a you have to make the right choice so that you can so that you can find true love. Okay? There could be a reconciliation that you've been dreaming about with an earth sign that perhaps has walked away and you're coming to the grips with it. But you have to make a conscious change and be grateful for the lessons that you have learned you have to get to that spot of gratefulness, security, stability, happy. You need to be happy where you're at. 
It's a time of independence. I think the storm is over as soon as you take action. As soon as you take action. The storm is in your head, by the way. Maybe you have become grateful over a period of time. But I feel like there's a something is incomplete and closure is needed. Closure is needed with somebody that had the situation did not close correctly. And I feel like there's some closure needed so that you can release these mind games that you're playing with yourself. That you need to stop the roller coaster. You need the brakes need to be put on. And for you to put the brakes on, you need to communicate with this person that you're dreaming of to see where they stand. So I think this week is about acting on your hunches. Whatever it is you're dreaming about that's keeping you up at night and during the day, it's on your mind. You need to you need to communicate and and bring closure closure to the situation, even if it's not the answer you want to hear. You need the closure or the new beginning, whatever it is. Okay, it could go both ways because we do have love here. We do have love here, so. It could lead to love. Or it could be love. But with nobody taking action and nobody communicating, how do you know? You know. It's time to make the decision. It's decision making time. You need to know. Unless you want to deceive yourself. Are you being, is this all a big lie or not? That's the question. Is this a big lie or not? So I feel like this is a week of, of coming to grips with the truth. I have to put the brakes on this roller coaster. Is this love or not? You know, I feel like there's a shaky, there's some sort of shaky foundation here. There's some sort of disruption that makes you aware, that opens your eyes, that forces you to take action. So, you know, maybe the universe is going to help you take action. That's what it looks like to me. Maybe you have to shed something. Something has to be let go of. This is shedding the past, <coughs> taking action, using the resources within you to do whatever you got to do, to manifest, to heal, to do whatever you got to do. After some sort of breakdown, disaster, shake up, something is going to happen that probably forces you to take action. There's been some lies here. There's been some deceit and betrayal. And somebody needs to get to the bottom of it. Appreciate this moment. Each and every situation has an opportunity to grow and find love. <clears throat> 
each and every situation has an opportunity to grow and find love. What the hell are you waiting for? Even if it doesn't work out as you hope, at least you will have the closure that you need. This is what I have. Talk to you later.